Hello and welcome to the first Fall 2020 Spotlight Series segment presented by the Cory Higher Education Council. Over the course of this series, we'll provide a virtual look at education and training close to home, showcasing the latest services provided by the council, conversations with high ed educational partners, and local success stories. My name is Brody Howard. I'm the Executive Director of the Cory Higher Education Council. I'm happy to be joined today by Programming Director of Mercyhurst University's Booker T. Washington and Cory campuses, Steve Gregg. Thanks so much for joining me today, Steve, and uh, really looking forward to sharing some information about uh, all the great opportunities through Mercyhurst here locally um, in the Cory area. So welcome. I appreciate you inviting me to, to do this this afternoon, and uh, I look forward to our conversation here today. The first thing that we, uh, a lot of people would like to know, um, if they don't know already, is very rich history uh, between Mercyhurst and the Cory Higher Education Council going on now almost 30 years. Uh, so just wanted to see if you could provide us a little brief history or background uh, of that relationship between Mercyhurst and the Ed. Yeah, so as I understand it, uh, Mercyhurst has actually uh, been uh, offering courses in the Cory area since the late 1980s. Uh, but most import importantly, when the Cory Higher Ed Council uh, started offering programming at the Cory Higher Ed Building, uh, which you're seated in right now, uh, Mercyhurst was one of the, uh, the first um, educational providers to offer some programming in the building. Uh, and we've actually been offering associate degree programs and college coursework uh, at the Cory Higher Ed Building in conjunction with, with the folks in, uh, that work at the Cory Higher Ed Council uh, since 1991. Uh, so the, the, the history of, of our Mercyhurst programming there goes really hand in hand uh, with the achievements and successes that the Cory Higher Ed Council has had uh, since the early 90s. So as the program uh, director uh, for both of these campuses, Booker T. Washington and uh, for here at, at Cory High Ed, what, what are some of your responsibilities as a programming director um, and, and how does that work with the relationships uh, with, with incoming and current students? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, so my role um, with Mercier's at, at these two satellite campuses uh, is basically to make sure that uh, prospective students and student taking classes have all the resources available to them to make sure that their, uh, their educational journey uh, is successful and, and sound. Uh, so I, I'm really with those students from the time they decide that they're thinking about going to college to the time that they, they graduate and finish their program. Uh, I help them through the admission process. I help them navigate uh, the process of applying for and receiving financial aid. Uh, often I help them uh, pick classes and I'm, I'm their, their academic advisor. And even sometimes I'm an instructor for some of the courses that they might have at either of those sites. So. Um, I, I work very closely with those students and uh, fortunately have an opportunity to develop uh, friendships and relationships with, with all those students um, as, as they're going through their, their two years of, uh, of Mercer's courses. What are some of the programs and degrees that are currently offered through Mercyhurst at the Quarry location? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, so uh, really since 1991, when we started offering classes there, uh, our, our kind of our, our, our main program uh, and our most popular program has been an associate degree um, in business management. Um, that, that program is designed um, to help students learn about the world of marketing, management, finance, accounting, uh, to really set them up for, for an opportunity to get uh, a job in some sort of office setting. Um, along with that, then a few years ago, we started offering what we call uh, an associate degree in liberal arts. Um, which is more of a general studies program uh, to help maybe provide an opportunity for the undecided student who maybe really isn't sure what it is they want to do academically, uh, but they know that they want to start taking classes and working towards some sort of degree um, now. Um, the nice thing about both those programs is all the courses to achieve and earn one of those associate degrees, um, all the courses are offered right in the Cory Higher Ed Building. Um, so folks who live in, in Cory or, or the Cory area have an opportunity of, of, uh, of earning those degrees right, right there close to home. Uh, and I think the, the other part of that is that both of those, those degree programs are designed in a way where they can seamlessly transition uh, into a four-year bachelor's degree. So um, if, if, a, if a student has really their, their heart set on a bachelor's degree in accounting or finance or management or or sports management, something along those lines, 
they have an opportunity of taking the first two years of that four-year degree uh, right there in Cori. Um, same with that liberal arts program that's basically designed as kind of the, the core curriculum, uh, general courses um, that, would, that would count towards a bachelor's degree somewhere, whether it's Mercyhurst or another institution. Um, so they can basically do two years of their, their four-year degree, again, right, right there in Cori. You kind of beat me to the punch there with my next question with uh, some of the uh, overall advantages, you know, beyond what you had already shared, um, the advantages of students enrolling in classes here locally at Cori High Ed. Well, I, I think the first thing is convenience. Um, it, you can save a lot on, on, uh, on fuel costs and drive time uh, if you're only having to go a few miles to class. Um, not that we, we wouldn't love to have you on our, our beautiful campus on the 38th Street Neary. Um, but you know, especially for the, the, the working student who might be working a part-time or a full-time job during the day uh, in, in the Cory area, uh, this really provides an opportunity to take classes um, in a flexible way um, that, that will work for that working student. Um, and, and you know, a lot of our students over the years, they, they said that that's, that's one of the, the biggest benefits um, to them taking classes with us is that um, you know, they, they can still go to their, their, their child's soccer game um, after school or whatever and, and still be home maybe after class to, to hang out with the family uh, without having to spend a couple hours in, in the car. Um, I think the other thing too is that um, for as long as we've offered classes uh, in Cory, uh, Mercier has offered a discounted tuition rate um, for, for students who take classes with us. Um, so you can save a lot in terms of tuition and fee costs by, by wh whether that's starting your bachelor's degree um, with us at Mercier's Corey um, or, or achieving your associate degree. You can save yourself um, quite a bit in, um, in tuition costs over, over that, that time frame. And I think the other thing, too, is that, um, you know, the, the class sizes are relatively small. Uh, most of our classes are somewhere between, you know, seven to 15 students. So um, you're really getting an opportunity to have um, kind of a more of a one-on-one -on -one experience and, and um, you know, you have a lot more opportunity for interaction with your instructors and professors um, because of, of those, those small settings. Um, especially, you know, if, if you're an adult student who maybe hasn't been in a classroom for, for five, 10, 15 years, um, it can be very reassuring to be able to ask questions easily and have them answered um, without having to sit in the back of an auditorium or, or something along those lines. Excellent. Now, if one was interested in enrolling in the program here um, through Mercyhurst at Corey High Ed, how would they go about obtaining more information? Yeah, the, the, the first thing that interested parties or interested prospective students could, could do uh, would be able to go to our, our website and access a lot of the information we've talked about today, as well as some, some other things. Um, and you can just go to mercyhurst.edu slash Corey for those things. Uh, additionally, uh, I have two uh, upcoming uh, virtual events. Um, we will we'll talk about uh, some of our, our programming more in depth, uh, and those are coming up on October 22nd and the evening of November 19th. Uh, interested uh, folks who wanna take part in either of those events can sign up and, and register uh, right on our website. And then additionally, uh, I'm uh, down in Cory for, for office hours once a week on Thursday afternoons, usually between 3.30 and 5.30. Uh, so anybody who would like to meet in person and, and, and talk about uh, you know, possibly starting classes with, with Mercyhurst Corey, I'm always available for in-person appointments on, on Thursday afternoons. Well, we really appreciate you coming in uh, today to speak with us uh, overall, uh, just to share a little bit more information about the program um, and the programming offered here through Mercyhurst um, here at the Corey Higher Education Council. Uh, Steve's contact information is on the screen there before you. Um, he can be reached by phone or by email um, there at the contact information um, on the screen. Uh, once again, Steve, thanks so much uh, for supporting all of our students here locally through Mercyhurst programs. Really a pleasure to have you today um, and thanks so much for your time. I appreciate you having me and uh, keep up all the great work that you guys do there down in Corey. Thank you.